Hello guys, in today's tutorial you're going to learn how to create a simple neural network from zero using Python and TensorFlow. In today's scenario we're going to transform Celsius degrees to Fahrenheit. Typically if you want to transform Celsius to Fahrenheit you need to use the formula that you see on the screen right now. So Celsius times 8.1 plus 32, that's the regular formula. In regular programming we would have to apply this formula in a function. But today we will learn how can we accomplish these results using a neural network. Okay, first let's import TensorFlow, which is a machine learning library made by Google. And let's also import NumPy that's easily going to allow us to work with arrays. Now let's declare an array of numbers where we are going to declare seven entries of Celsius degrees. Next, let's declare another array with the results in degree Fahrenheit. So these are the examples that the neural network is going to use to learn. So minus 10 Celsius, it's 14 Fahrenheit, 0 Celsius is 32 Fahrenheit, and so on. Now let's design our neural network model. Now to build the model, we're going to use the API Keras. And thanks to the Keras API, we can build these neural networks really easily. Now with Keras, you can either specify the input layer and the output layer, or just specify the output layer and skip the first step. So I'm going to show you how we do that. So let's specify a variable called layer. So layer and then it's going to be equal to tf the keras the layers that dense. So the dense layers are the layers that have connections from every neuron in the layer to all the other neurons in the next layer. <laughs> so here we only have two neurons, so we don't have much to connect. Now let's write the units or the neurons. We only have one, which is the exit uh, neuron. So let's just type units equal to one. And lastly, we need to register our neuron or layers and we need to specify the param input shape. So input slash shape and then you have to specify which is equal to one. Now, this layer is just flying around. We don't have any model yet, so we need to create the model. So we need to create the variable first, and then you have to call tf the keras the sequential. Okay, guys, so now we have the model ready. Now, the next step that we have to do is to compile it. Okay, so remember that the training is the magic part of the neural network uh, learning process, but it's not really magic. It's just everything is just math behind that, but we need to specify a few properties before we do the training. So we're going to do this in the compiling process. For the moment, we're only going to specify two properties, the optimizer and the loss function. So the first property is going to be the algorithm Adam, and you can read about it in Google or any other places. But just to summarize, I'm going to tell you uh, the Adam algorithm is what makes possible to the neural network to learn little by little in each step. So every time it makes a mistake, it will adjust its weights and it will keep learning from this past. In other words, it just will keep improving little by little instead of going the other way around. So now we only have to pass one property, and it's a number, which is how much do you want the how much do you want the algorithm to adjust the weights and the lesser the number the more uh, little adjustments that the neural network is going to do so and this really depends on your use case but I think from experience the lesser the number the neural network is going to be more precise so yeah let me know what you think about this in the comments down below okay guys and lastly we need to pass our loss function okay guys and now for the fun part we are going to train the model so we need to create our fit function right here and then we need to pass in our Celsius and also we need to pass in our Fahrenheit and we also need to pass how many times the the neural network is essentially going to train to or go through this data set so we're gonna have to pass in the epochs right so epochs right here and remember here's how many times the neural network is going to go through the data set and train so we're gonna pass a huge number here so because we want good results but I highly encourage you to play with these numbers and then you see how this accommodates to your use case right so yeah and then we can also pass another property, which is verbose equal to false. And this is going to keep our console clean when it's training. You'll see, because we don't want to see so many things in the console. Okay, so now let's start training, but I'm going to uh, put everything here in a results variable here so we can see the results later. So now we can just click enter and just like this, it starts to train. Okay, now we need to test the model. But before that, I want to show you how do you visualize the results of the loss function. So we can see the results of how the neural network did when training. Okay, let's import matplotlib. And then we also have to specify the X and Y labels. So X labels. Okay, guys, so now just specify the X and Y labels. And then you have to plot the loss function pretty much. And then just click uh, right here and process. And then you're going to see the graph right here. Because we had a thousand epochs, we have these a thousand epochs right here down below. 
And we can also notice that the more epochs that the model went through, the less mistakes it had right here in this curve. So we don't really need to, so we didn't really need to do a thousand epochs, that was too much. Okay guys, so now we're ready to do the predictions. Okay, so now we need to test the model, right? So let's create a variable right here that's going to contain our results. And then let's call the model.predict. And then we have to pass in Celsius degrees. So we're gonna pass 100. Okay, so now we're gonna pass in the results in this print statement, and then we're going to just convert it to a string. And if this is successful, the model is going to be able to predict the 100 Celsius to Fahrenheit. And let's just test everything to see if everything's working, right? So, so according to the models, 100 Celsius is 211 Fahrenheit, which I have no idea. So we're gonna have to look that up right here. So let me just check this really quick. So 100 Celsius to Fahrenheit. And according to my search engine is 212 and we have 211.7. So it's pretty accurate. And yeah, that was pretty much it. We can test more results, but I'm just going to leave you to it. And as always, I'm going to post the code at GitHub and then you can do your test at home because that's the best way to practice this. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and see you the next one.